Hi there. In this video, we're going to be discussing the uh, beaten favourite. Um, it's a fairly common um, strategy, shall we say, that people um, people follow. And I'm going to show you how you can um, test and export um, our data to, to be able to analyse um, the merits of a beaten favourite. So I'm going to go to the... Um, pre-race download files and what I'm going to be doing is using yesterday as an example so as an advanced member you can access historic uh, pre-race files so I'm going to be going for the file from yesterday which uh, is the 27th so I'm going to download this file and this is the file that would have been available yesterday morning before the racing um, up it comes on the screen um, we need to do some slight a bit of um, Excel manipulation. Um, now I'm conscious that we do have followers and members who, who are extremely advanced in Excel, um, but we do also have some followers and members who are who are not so Excel savvy. So I'm trying to appeal to the masses here. So um, my apologies if if I'm you know coming across too basic for some people, but equally if it's too advanced what I'm doing. For others then you should be able to watch this video a couple of times um, and be able to grasp what I'm doing. So what I'm doing here is looking at so we're, we're, we're rolling back time uh, a day here uh, in effect so we're looking at the um, yesterday's racing a, a day on so here you can see that the the horse uh, Actia uh, had run what well, had one previous run um, and yesterday's run was its second run now we have this handy little hook here that you can see uh, which um, which of the days um, which line represents that day's racing because we have the RBD rating which is our unique um, rating for that horse as well as the previous day since the last race uh, sorry the previous race number uh, amount of previous races I'm trying to say <laughs> and also the day since the last race so that indicates to you that that row is the uh, is is that today but as we're looking at this uh, ahead of time it's it's actually yesterday's but that indicates the the day of the horse uh, that's running so we wouldn't have any results or betfair info for that horse for that day because it hadn't run okay so we can use that as our unique hook and i'm just going to add a bit of formula in here um, so what we're going to do is use this as a new column and what we want to do is check um, if that that horse uh, its previous race was it the favorite if it was the favorite was it beaten so we can do some easy uh, coding here that will allow us to uh, to check that quite simply so I'm going to use the if formula and then embedded within if I'm going to use and um, so the and logic gives you uh, several layers of nesting where you can uh, specify certain criteria that it has to meet so I'm going to say in here and AR needs to be different than blank. So that will indicate to me that this is the day that the horse is racing or for the anal uh, purpose of the uh, analysis that we're doing, the, whatever the day was in, in the history. Um, and then we want to look at the second bit of logic, which is, well, was the horse on its previous, so we can go up a line on its previous race, was it a favorite? So did that equal, and we need to bracket, uh, inverted commas it, did it equal one? And you can see here that this is populating as true or false already. And then we need to assume or ask the question, did it finish uh, in a different position to first? And again, we put the one in inverted commas. So you can see it did. It wasn't a favorite, but it did finish in a different position to one. Um, and um, it it was, uh, sorry, the, the the line we're looking at is the day of the race for that horse in question. So, sorry, I just need to finish that off. Um, and I'm just gonna use binary. So what we're gonna ask here is if all of those conditions are true, which you can see it's false, we put a one. If it's false, we're gonna put a zero. So we're gonna binary it. Um, and we can just simply click this little bottom right corner and that will drag it all the way down. And you can see down the bottom here, we have 19 horses that in their previous run were the favorite and they were beaten. So I'm just gonna put uh, a header up here and then I'm just going to filter it to get these horse names. 
So we just want to look at the ones that equal to one. And this will show you a list of horses that ran yesterday and on their previous run were a beaten favorite. So I'm going to grab a list of horses. And then I'm going to open up a new tab here and just paste those horse names in. OK, so we have our list and it's only a small list. We have 19. We're only looking at one day. But what you can do with all our archive files, you can go through as many days as you want. Um, and the bit I'm going to show you now is how do we analyze the performance of those 19 horses? Now, obviously, you know, you could do that manually. You could scroll through uh, Racing Post website. You can look at newspapers. You look through Google to find the races, uh, the outcome of those uh, those races. All quite time consuming. Um, you, you know, it's doable with 19. But if you've built up a long list, you know, hundreds of horses, and you want to analyze that quickly, that's where the website will help you. So I'm just going to put some headers in here. What we want to see is the uh, starting price of that horse. Um, and its position. So the reason why I'm looking at yesterday's is because we now know the result um, of those runners. So how do we obtain that data? Um, again, there's a number of ways to do it. We can use our um, results um, archive section, but that would involve downloading um, separate files. So okay, in this instance, because we were only looking at one day, but if you did build up a couple of days, weeks, months worth, um, that would add to the time so we want to do it in the quickest way possible so our data dashboard is very useful for this now what we can do is leave all the criteria here as default and just select yesterday that would give us the results from yesterday but what if it wasn't yesterday that we were looking at so say we we're looking at the 26th of january which was two days uh, ago we don't have the radio button for that what we do have at the top is a date picker option so I am going to use yesterday's results, um, but what I'm saying here is that you can use this um, filter option to specify any date back to 2002. So we're going to use the 27th of January and get results. This will generate the output. So here we go. It scrolls us down to the top and that is all of yesterday's results. Now, currently that is sat in a screen re report, but we can export that as always to Excel by clicking this button here. It's going to click Excel export and you can see that that is now downloading down the bottom and that will give me a prompt to open up. And there we have on a separate worksheet now, we have yesterday's results in full. So these are the, the 19 horses and no problem if people want to go through manually and check for the Betfair odds that they started at. Um, and the result, uh, so the placing of that horse, which is in column Z. But I'm going to show you how you can do this with some coding. So we're going to look for, and we're going to use uh, sum if. And if you were looking at more than one day's races at a time, so say you had the whole of January, you can add an extra level by putting sum ifs and ensure you keep the date in here. So I've not put the date because we're only looking at one day. Um, one day's racing compared to the results for that day. But if you're building up um, multiple days, weeks worth, then you can add the date in as long uh, against against the horse. And then you can reference the date when you're doing your summing to make sure that the dates are matching. Because of course, these horses could have raced more than once within the same week, same month. So sum if, uh, and so the range we're looking for is the, uh, the horse's name. So that's column J in our result output, and it needs to match column A. And then the sum range is the, first of all, is the Betfair odds. So we're going to get the, the odds for each horse. There you go. And again, we can drag that down. So that populates the Betfair starting price for those 19 horses that yesterday ran as a beaten favorite. Now what we want to get is the position of the horse. So where did it finish? Which of course before the race we wouldn't have known, but we do now. So we're going to use sum if again. Um, we can use VLOOKUP. There's multiple ways to get this output. Sum if um, is my preference. So we're looking for the horse, his name to match what's in A2. And then the sum range is in this instance the place. So where did it finish? You can see that that top one finished second 
So what we're looking for here are winners. So where there's a one, you can see that those horses ran as a beaten favorite and yes, they actually won. So how do we convert that into profit? So let's say we want to stake uh, 10 pounds per horse. We can drag that down. So we're simulating bets that were placed yesterday. What would the returns have been? So we can again use a bit of formula to say if. Uh, so sometimes the bet for SP will be zero, which would indicate a non-runner where there's no sum. So we, we may want to put in um, an extra layer of, of um, coding or formula coding here. So we're going to say and again. So we want to say this, the bet for SP is, oh, just popped me in the wrong box there. So and the bet for SP is greater than zero to make sure it did run. And the position equals one. If it did, what we're saying is that we want to find out the profit. So the profit would be the stake times the odds, and then we're going to do a minus one because you would don't want to double count your stake. And that would say it, it was false because it didn't win. So we just need to add in the loss, which would be minus the stake. So you can see that that horse, if we'd backed it yesterday, it would have come second off an SP of 28. Um, so we would have lost 10 pounds, 10 units. One below, you can see did win. So that would have returned a 79 Point 0.6 and we can drag that all the way down and we can sum it so you can see from yesterday that we would have returned 96.9 units pounds euros um, but we do need to factor in the commission so uh, let's factor in a two percent commission so we can again put if this is greater than zero because we don't want to apply commission to uh, a losing bet we do E2 times 0.98, or you can do times 1 minus uh, 2, 0 0.002, which is your commission level. Uh, and if it's not, then we just want to return the loss. And that gives you your returns for yesterday. So £92.36 pence from a flat £10 stake. And obviously people who talk staking plans, not go into that level of detail. I'm purely showing you how you can use our data to very, very quickly analyze certain criteria, um, betting strategies um, or systems that are out there. Um, I've shown you a bit of Excel. This is fairly basic stuff. Um, it can go to another level. Um, but you know, for the purpose of this video, I wanted to keep it fairly straightforward. Um, and it may take a few of you a couple of times to watch it, uh, to, for it to sink in, but that's what the video is there for. There's no limit. So I hope you found that useful.